<laughs> Thanks, Joe. Yeah, we, we found a female on the show, Joe. <laughs> we found a female right there. Breaking we, up the dude fest, but I it's know. Cool. Break, she's, she, she's sitting too, uh, too testosterone <laughs> in here, so she's breaking up. Lucy Greer from uh, Groove's Markets and Catering, welcome back. Thank you. Well, uh, we were talking a little bit uh, before we tossed over here about uh, the Thanksgiving holiday. You had a good one? Yes, I did. Thank yeah. you. And uh, we're making something kind of holiday themed today? Yep, we are moving into Christmas. I All can't right. believe it's already December, and I thought with the holidays coming up and a lot of people are going to be having brunches and parties and different gatherings I thought I'd make this crumb cake that is super easy to put together okay. and it just kind of feels like the holidays to me so I'm going to start with a stick of butter that's just come to room temp okay. and I'm going to add a cup of sugar now I noticed when I came over here, there really it really does look simple just based on the fact that you only have a few ingredients on the counter here. Yeah, and all of these things are probably things that you have in the pantry already when the holidays are here and we're buying gifts and we're going to yeah. parties and all these different things. It's nice to be able to have a recipe that isn't going to break the bank. And so these are items that you may have in your pantry, sugar, butter, I'm going to add an egg in here. And we're going to flavor it up with the two teaspoons of vanilla. Oh. So we're just going to mix it. It's already <laughs> starting to smell good, and it hadn't even been put together yet. Yes. And like I said, this is a super easy recipe to put together, and it's a quick bake, too. Okay. So we're just going to let this get combined. And then what I have in this bowl is two and a quarter cup of all-purpose flour. All right. And I just sifted that so there's no lumps in our batter. And I'm going to add a half a teaspoon of salt in there and three teaspoons of baking powder. And, of course, that is going to help our cake rise very nicely. I was just about to ask you what that what that serves the purpose for and it helps it to rise. Yes. Okay. And so we're going to add about a third of this. And, and you just continue to mix it? Mm-hmm. And then milk? Yep. We're going to do back and forth between the flour and the milk. So I have three quarters cup of milk right there and just whatever milk you use at home. So once you get that flour combined, we'll do half of the milk and then back and forth. Okay. And this is going to bake in a 9 by 13 pan, so I've just sprayed that. Okay. And I have our oven at 350, so once we get all this mixed up, we'll be ready to put it in the oven. Well, that sounds fantastic. Uh, and if you missed any of that, of course, you can go to our website, <laughs> fox10tv.com, click on the Studio 10 tab, and Lucy's recipe will be there waiting for you. And if it is going to be put together, anything like it's smelling right now, Lucy, I think we're all in for a treat. <laughs> so we'll see you later in the show, all right? Sounds good. Joe? Sound up. Back in our Studio 10 kitchen with Lucy Greer, who is commenting on how it smells so good in here. <laughs> <laughs> Usually it's you commenting, but I, I did do that today. <laughs> but, you, well, I would agree with your assessment because that does smell delicious. Yeah, we are have already gotten to work on our holiday crumb cake. Mm -hmm. We put together the batter already. and We started with a stick of softened butter. We added a cup of sugar, an egg, and some vanilla. We got all that mixed up. And then we added two and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour, three teaspoons of baking powder to help it rise, and a little bit of salt. We just whipped all that together. Oh, and three quarters cup of milk. And now I'm just spreading it in a 9 by 13 baking dish that I have sprayed with nonstick cooking spray, and we're going to put this in a 350 degree oven for 15 minutes, and then we're going to remove it and put the topping on, mm. and then we're going to put it back in there and let it cook a little bit longer. Okay. So I thought I would put together the topping real quick, and we'll let that bake over the break. Sure. I have one and a half cups of all-purpose flour and one and a half cups of sugar. And then I have a combination of cinnamon and nutmeg in here. And then we're just going to add a stick and a half of softened butter. And we are just going to mix it up until everything is distributed. And like I said, after that bakes for 15 minutes, we will put this on there. Now, if you're looking for something to go out and get for Christmas during this holiday season, you may have heard us talk about before on the show, there is a new Greer's, which is not only just a grocery store, but also includes a hardware store as well. Tell us about that location. Yes, our Cottage Hill Greer's Cash Saver, the mm -hmm. one that is on Cottage Hill between Azalea and University, we have opened up an Ace Hardware right in the <laughs> middle of this store. And we had our grand opening a couple weeks ago, and it is so fun to go in there. I mean, you can knock out your shopping. And <laughs> 
can get anything you need. I mean, I have been taking serious advantage of it. We're doing our cabinets at home, so oh, yeah? my husband and I have been running up there getting paint and hinges and um, light bulbs. So. We have lots of holiday gifts, a lot of um, people like screwdrivers and mm -hmm. drills and all sorts of things um, for Christmas. So if you are around our store right there, pop in and, and see the new Ace Hardware. It's lots of fun. So you, the house that you purchased had some older cabinets in them? Yes, it did. And you want to update them? <laughs> yep. So we um, have been working on the house, and we've kind of slacked off a little bit. So <laughs> we decided to jump back on the kitchen since, of course, I spent so much time in there. <laughs> All right. Well, if you have a chance, I'd like to see some before and after pictures. <laughs> yeah. We will get to see before and after with this holiday crumb cake as we will finish it up in just a bit. Michael. We're back in the kitchen here with Lucy Greer from Greer's Markets and Catering. She's finishing up the holiday crumb cake, and I figured out a good way, Lucy, that you could ever torture me if you needed to get information from me. All you got to do is just whiff the smell of that <laughs> in my face, and I'd start talking. That's how good it smells right now. It does smell good in here. We have already baked the cake for 15 minutes, and we'll put it out to put our topping. And this was just a simple cake batter, really. Okay. Butter and sugar. Mm -hmm. We had some flour, a little bit of baking powder to make it rise, a little bit of salt. Vanilla, an egg, and a little bit of milk to hold it all together. And that's everything in that pot now all mixed together. Mm -hmm. Yep, and we just put it in this 9 by 13 pan, and like I said, we baked it for 15 minutes at 350, and then we mixed up this topping. It was one and a half cups of flour, one and a half cups of sugar, a stick and a half of butter. And well, as you said, these are all things you can find in your refrigerator yeah. probably right now. Yeah, that's what's great. We talked about um, holiday savings. Once the um, Christmas season comes, there's a lot of parties, there's oh, a lot yeah. of gift buying. And so when you want to take something to your neighbors, or your coworkers, or to a party, you could just whip this up in no time, cut it into little sections, you know, give it away as a gift. And um, people always like to receive something that is homemade. It just makes it a little bit more special. Sort of like when you get the handwritten letter as opposed to an email. There's just something <laughs> yeah. about it that's a little more special. That's right. So we just spread our topping on. We'll put it back in the oven for 15 more minutes and it'll be ready to eat. And again, if you missed any of this, we have all of Lucy's segments on our Studio 10 tab under on our website, fox10tv.com. Mm -hmm. It's the holiday crumb cake. And man, is that going to be tasting <laughs> fantastic, which we will do after the show is over. We will be back to wrap up Studio 10 coming up after you see this announcement.